So we're we're here at our um, beach vacation house for a week here in watercolor. That's our groceries Jeff's getting. And I'm just gonna do a quick uh, a quick tour before it gets all messed up. It's beautiful. This is probably the master bedroom. I haven't even looked through the house yet. We just got here. I don't know where the lights are. I don't know, but here it is. Look at how cute. Tiny little TV though, which is disappointing. Inhale, exhale. Man, pretty. Look at this. Gorgeous. There I am. Hello. I dressed for the warm air, con for the cold air conditioning. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom. And big old shower. Cool. Okay, I guess this is the closet. All right, good enough. Yes, bathroom. There's a little side porch. The door we first came in. That I don't know. Explored yet. Okay, and then we have the kitchen. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow, I love this house. Cool. And the back patio. So here's Seaside. This is where they film the Truman Show. There's Pickles. We got here before the end of the day. The water's a little rough. It's usually really pretty emerald green. So Jeff and I found a few little seashells and there they are. And then I always like to sit on the porch in the mornings on vacation and wake up nice and easy. And so then we were going to go to the pool this day, so we went to the grocery store and I got all my trashy uh, gossip magazines. And here's my suit I got from Poshmark. It was um, a really cute little boho one piece and I really liked the back. 
So I'm making your a video of you putting the steaks on, Joe. Okay. <laughs> it's our our grill man. And so these people, the white house next door has a pool in their backyard. If you can see, you can barely see it. And then we're just surrounded by woods in the back. And then I'm gonna sit down in this swing and eat my drink my drink while I wait for my steak. And you are my sunshine. Look at how cute. Okay, so now it's um, it's day one, right? Still? Day two. Well, day we two. We here. got here yesterday and slept here, but really it's our first full day. So we've gone to the pool, we've had the salad with the steak, and now we're going to go buy some sandals for Jeff and some whatever for me. bike paths that you can walk down or ride your bike and all these houses that you can rent okay this is seaside it's a very popular place With those palm trees sorry i don't know i've lost jeff i guess he kept biking all the children love to go and play here. Sometimes they have shows and things there. Here's Jeff. Found him. Look at that little tiny post office. Isn't that darling? I think these houses coming up are... One of them was my favorite. I can't remember which one. I'm a little winded. We've been biking for a little while. One of them has a really pretty door. That you can see the ocean through. Oh no, we gotta ride through that water. Oh, here it is. Look at that. We've got a nice little setup here in the shade, and here is the frog pool, the three frogs. Okay, so here we are at our favorite little hole in the wall Mexican restaurant in Panama City Beach, and it's called Diego's, and we get street tacos. Well, I get street tacos here. It's awesome. Steak burrito. Steak burrito. And then I got the street tacos and the cheese dip. Hold on. Okay, so this is the street taco with the pulled pork. And then you squeeze the lime on it. And then there's the cheese dip. It's awesome. Okay, so this is day five. Got here on Friday, so we got here. So that Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's the fourth day, and it rained 100% all day yesterday. Well, except for the afternoon, it actually finally quit. And so yesterday we went to we found a Planet Fitness and went and worked out. 
It's only the second time I've ever worked out while on vacation. So you know that something has clicked in me and I, um, I am really committed now to getting strong, building muscle, and it's not about, it's not all about, it used to be only about being thin, but now it's about going into the next, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not even going to go there. It's a big political sign on that house over there. I don't think I'll talk about it though. Um, so now it's about being healthy and now I'm, I'm trying to learn about, I'm starting to get some arthritis, I think, I think in my joints of my fingers. There's something going on with this pinky one where it actually changed the shape of my nail bed. So I'm trying to do a more anti-inflammatory diet, which I guess processed foods are really bad for that. I'm thinking about going back in fact, I'm pretty much made up my mind to go back to a diet or a lifestyle that I did years ago. Right before I had my stroke, I lost 15 pounds doing the Suzanne Summers thing. Um, I think her, I think it was her book, Eat Great, Lose Weight, or something like that. And it was it wasn't cutting out all these food groups, but a few, like sugar. I mean, she cut out, I did cut out sugar and I didn't eat bananas. Um, but she, it would be like, I would eat fruit alone in the morning and then you had to wait so many hours between eating fruit before when you, you would eat another meal. And then you would eat proteins and fats and vegetables together or you would eat carbs and vegetables together. And by carbs, she meant like whole grain stuff, like oatmeal or, um, I can't even think what else that I used to eat. But I remember I used to eat a bowl of oatmeal with some Splenda in it um, as a meal. So anyway, I'm gonna try that. I'm thinking that might be more conducive to health rather than, I'm not on the whole, I'm, I don't really believe that eating all meat is actually very healthy. I mean, it's worked for me before to lose weight, but health-wise, I'm not sure. For me, it, I don't know. I think that I might feel better when I eat more vegetables and some fruit. I won't go crazy with the fruit, but berries berries and I do like to put a half a banana frozen banana in my smoothies so anyway so I've had a smoothie actually in the morning the past two days so I'm gonna try that and anyway so it's rainy it's too rainy for the beach it's actually not raining right now but it looks like it could anytime so we are going to go get um, pedicures and I just so happen to have my discontinued favorite color ever which is Lincoln Park, not after dark, Lincoln Park at midnight. I love it so much better than after dark. I like it too, but it's more black and this is more purple. So I think that this will be a really pretty, and I have this one on right now that I, I got at Marshall's last time I was there and it was the boys be thistling at me. I guess that's like a, that's purple. A thistle is purple. So I'll have purple on my fingers and toes, but they won't be exact, exact match. So that's what we're doing. And then we may go try to find a movie somewhere. We'll go find something to do. And I'll let you know what we find. So we got out from doing our nails and the guy, it was the best, pedicure I've ever had. He was such a perfectionist. It, my toenails are painted to perfection. I can't really show you. I can't contort my leg up to show you. Um, but anyway, he did such a great job that I went ahead and got a manicure as well. And so, here's my manicure. Um, and it's the Lincoln Park at midnight. So just imagine my toes are the same as my fingernails. It was another lady that did the nails because she said he didn't do nails and that was fine. And so then when we got out to the car, the the battery went down. So somebody, one of us, had turned the, the light switch to on instead of auto. So I think, anyway, but so we're, 
I think it was time for us to get a new battery anyway, so that's what we're doing. We're at the, we found the O'Reilly's Auto Parts. But now the sun has come out. I guess you can see that now. Look, look at all that sun. So we're gonna go to the beach. That's why I have, I'll show you. Jeff's like, what were you talking to in here? He should know by now. So anyway, I have my swimsuit on and I have this little dress. That's it's a it's like a long maxi dress that I wear over my my swimsuit and and then I have this I keep this coat with me you know a coat some kind of coat with me all the time because there's no telling when I'm gonna get cold and usually I am cold because of the air conditioning in the car so we're gonna go I think to the beach club place at where we stay and have a burger or something because it's it's getting pretty late. It's like probably two o'clock. We're gonna have lunch and then we're gonna go um, check out the beach and see if those, I hope that the, um, this, what do they call The jellyfish, I hope that they're, they're gone because they were, the first day we went on Saturday, we walked out there and there were the two jellyfish. So hopefully they won't be there. So we're getting our battery put in right now and then we're gonna go eat and then hopefully go walk on the beach. I love that the dunes are really pretty sometimes with the clouds all behind them and the grasses growing up. And then, so after that, we went down, we went to the beach club and had a burger and I got onion rings and a Oreo milkshake. Okay, so it is um, fifth day. I think it's fifth day. And we were woke up this morning early about six in the morning about with a an alarm going off that a tornado telling us was, to take cover. yeah telling us to take cover we we didn't but we listened we listened to see if we heard any storm coming and we had a plan but it didn't come and then it became a glorious beautiful day and we are in between we had to move houses we've extended three more days just to try to get some sun because that's why we come down here. And um, we've come down to <clears throat> our favorite little breakfast place and it's called um, Crackings. It used to be called Another Broken Egg, um, but it is not called that now. It's called Crackings and they have a lot of eggs. And anyway, it's really good. And as you can see, it's a very, very popular place down here. But it is a glorious, beautiful day. So we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go put swimsuits on and go find a pool to lay by. So we're still waiting to be buzzed that our table is available. So they have like some little shops and things. So, so they've, they've texted me to head back to the restaurant and Jeff is now in there talking to this lovely guy, Clint Eager, Agar, I don't know how you say it, the gallery studio, he's the artist, he's amazing.
So after breakfast, we went to the pool, and Samuel called, and he sent me a picture of the mountains out in Utah, and I sent him a picture of the sky where I was looking up at, at the pool. All right, so we have, um, we have rode our bikes here to Frostbites, and we're gonna get our, I'm gonna get a pina colada shave ice, and what are you getting, Jeff? Campfire s'mores, and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so boy, look at the trees up here. I'm having to sit this on the the arm of this little Adirondack chair. So here it is, and I get it with the cream, and I actually got extra cream this time, which is really, I think, just sweetened sweetened condensed milk. It is so good. Jeff didn't want shave ice, so he's um, on the search for ice cream, and then he will come back. <laughs> okay, I just had to, jeez. Bike. I'll have to edit the fool out of this one. So I had to stop and take a picture of this beautiful mermaid weather vane on top of this house. And then the next day we went to Panama City Beach and I popped into Ulta and they had this cute little hocus pocus display. And then we went to Diego's again and I got another street taco and all the stuff and it was so good. And then we went and saw a movie and this is the beach ball right outside the movie at Pier Park, Panama City Beach. Here's the Ferris wheel that we're going to do. We've never done this before. I'm actually kind of scared of Ferris wheels, but I'm thinking that since it's enclosed, it's called a sky wheel, actually, and it's really tall. I'm thinking since it's enclosed, it won't be too scary. Here's Jeff. We just went and saw Venom. It was kind of fun. We weren't expecting much, but it was kind of fun. So I ended up being a little bit scared on that Ferris wheel, but Jeff was there, so it was okay. So this is what I like to do in the morning. I get up in the morning early, and I go and sit on the porch and start the day, and then I was getting my last little rays of sunshine. Okay, so this is our last day before we go home tomorrow, and it is a glorious sunny day. It looks like the water's nice. So we are gonna go spend the day or at least half the day here on the beach, and I'll turn it around and show it to you. There's some feet. <laughs> so we always just go um, all the way far, as far right as we go, can go um, to avoid people. We go to the last of the people and beyond. The boat looks kind of fun. So here's the back we pulled in right there and we came in through here and here is the kitchen and at our other house that we rented they gave us this nice um, insulated backpack to carry food in and then since we got another house um, we moved to another house they gave us another free one so here is the kitchen it's lovely I have a feeling we've stayed here before it seems very familiar to me the dining room, the living room, very comfortable. And upstairs, there's a 
So if any of my kids watch this, tell me, didn't we stay here? I think Ty and Felicia and Zeke stayed up there. There's a bedroom right up there and you can close the doors to it. And I believe Samuel and Eli stayed here with us. I thought I'd tell you about my makeup that I have on for the makeup people that are interested. Um, I was in Ulta yesterday. I took some stuff back that didn't work out for me, some MAC stuff. Anyway, I got the Clinique Serum Foundation, and this is what it looks like I put on this morning. I don't know, about 9, 10, and it's about 1 or 2 now. It seems fine. Um, let's see, this is my Bonfire Tinted Lip Balm, and then I have uh, Nude Sticks, and some kind of bronzy color, and my uh, Dior Show Waterproof Mascara, my Dior uh, Glow Blush, that real pink one, and then my Smashbox bronzer with the little set of three in it and um, that's my makeup for the day so anyway I like this makeup so far so I've had my sunglasses on I don't know if it's rubbed off of course I always have darkness here I have the Estee Lauder concealer on but it doesn't really do anything for it so I think he's coming with the food This is our last ride out of watercolor. We're checking out. We've checked out and we're on our way home. And I just got one last uh, filming of the place so that in the, in the midst of winter, I can pull this video out and look at it and dream of summer. So this is just one of my favorite places on earth. It's um, if you have the opportunity to go on the Gulf side of Florida. I think they call it the Redneck Riviera. But it is just, it's just perfect. It's perfection for me. It's where I can go and totally be relaxed. And usually I have all my family stuck there with me. And so I get to get my fill of family time and sunshine and ocean and just beautiful things all around me. Nice people, nice little families like to come down there. And so, anyway, <clears throat> till next year, watercolor, I will miss you. So as we were driving home, we, we kept passing these big fields of, of cotton. And it looks like that they are fully ripe and ready to be harvested. They were big, white, puffy things which is cool. And we always like this house. You can't really see it on this camera, but there's a great big old house back there. And they used to, this is the first time we've ever seen them grow cotton there. And then this is the next day after we got home. There's I'm back at church with my holding one of my little grandbabies.